Hi, I'm Cody Alexander bringing you another episode of MQ Quick Kids. Today we're going to talk about your pressure package and, it, and particularly what coverage you're going to run behind. Anytime you send a five man pressure to the blitz side, you're going to have to adjust the coverage. Now, you don't have to spend a single high because your mic is going to still relate to the number three, but you are losing an overhang and you have to create some sort of situation. Now we're gonna talk about two different types of coverages and really it's just, a, it's just a call that your safety is going to give. In a true split field quarter scheme, the front side or away from the blitz, that coverage doesn't have to change. You're still gonna have three over two. The coverage has to change when you lose an overhang. Let's say in this case to the, to the blitz side, we're gonna send the Sam linebacker on a blitz. So we've lost our overhang. We have to create another one so that now the cover safety or the corner has to become that overhang. So we're going to talk about under. Under is great when teams know you're blitzing and they try and use hot routes. So either a, a five yard hitch or some sort of a slam. Understand that, that you're going to get two different types of hot routes. You're going to get a true hot route, the traditional hitch or slam, or you're going to get some sort of a RPO or a screen. So you understanding that and how the offense is gonna attack you allows you to have choices between under and over. And that's what this gifts the defense. Now you're back in control. So we're gonna talk about under. We're playing a traditional team. They like to run a lot of hot routes when they know you're blitzing. And so we're getting a lot of slants and hitches. Under just tells the, the corner and the cover safety that hey, I'm now going to be an aggressive curl flat player. It's really a robber coverage. He is going to rob the curl. So what you see in over is an I mean in under is an aggressive sky coverage. He's going to work down to about eight yards, and he's going to buzz his feet at eight yards, reading number two. If number two goes on a slant, I'm driving on a slant. If he runs a hitch, I'm now driving on that hitch. So it is an aggressive sky coverage. So it fits well within your quarter scheme. All you're saying is, hey, you're doing the same responsibility as you would in Sky, except for you're gonna be overly aggressive. I'm gonna trigger on anything that the number two receiver does. Even if he runs a bubble route, I'm triggering right now. What this does is allows him to be inside for those inside quick hot routes, or if you feel comfortable enough, you don't wanna run the trap coverage, which we're gonna talk about here in a second, you can send him. So it allows you to have that spin to single high without actually giving up uh, your front side distribution. So that's under coverage. You wanna do that when offenses are running hot routes. Let's talk about over coverage. Now, over coverage is gonna be the opposite. The, the down safety is gonna tell this corner, hey, I'm over everything, over, over, over. So on this instance, let's say that we're sending and we're sending the wheel linebacker off the edge. We've lost our overhang, but what I'm getting is a lot of RPO screens or I'm getting a lot of bubble routes. Maybe I'm getting a switch route by the number one. I want him to be aggressive. Another way offenses can attack you when you're blitzing is an out route. They're gonna put this guy on an isolation or they're gonna try and throw the ball away from the blitz. Now, even in an out route, what you're getting with screens is the exact same thing. They're working to the perimeter, whereas in under they were working to the inside or the seam. So all this is saying is now I'm gonna be a trap coverage. So any kind of out, let's say this guy bubbles, I'm driving on the out route right now. If it's a switch screen, I'm driving on the switch screen. Now, this is not cloud coverage. He is not going to be fast bailing. This is going to be an adjustment. Just like in under, it's an aggressive sky. Well, this is an aggressive cloud. So he is now gonna trap the number two receiver, drive on any kind of out route or screen, and the safety is going to sit at 10, make it look like they're in quarters coverage, and he is just making sure that he is over top of everything. Now, in both of these coverage, if I get two verticals, then they absorb and they carry and they play it just like they would in regular match quarters, whether it be sky or cloud. So in under, we want this against teams that are running hot routes or maybe you have a really physical safety that's good coming downhill. Over any kind of attack to the boundary when I'm sending a blitz is I wanna be in an over. So you have choices. The beauty in all of this, this only affects one side of the ball. Your mic is still gonna to push to the number three receiver in the front side or away from the blitz, it, that pass distribution isn't gonna change, so they can stay in their coverage. It allows you the flexibility to 
have choices against what you're seeing and not have to spin to single hot. So again, this is over and under coverage. This is part of your pressure package. It all, it all builds to on a bluff package. They're staying static. They're staying right where they normally would be in sky. And so when the blitz comes, the offense doesn't know if you're actually sending the guy or you're gonna drop them back into coverage. So again, thank you for watching this quick hit. You can find me at matchquarters.com or you can follow me on Twitter with the handle at the underscore coach underscore A. Thank you.